Hey guys, it's Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine and we are back with a new series called Munching March. Uh, obviously, we're in the month of March and because March is leading up to Easter, there's going to be a lot of eggy recipes and also seafood recipes this month. So that's what you can look forward to. But uh, guys, make sure you say hello. Let us know where you're watching from and say hello to uh, Chef Dato Ismail. And Chef Ismail is in his famous restaurant Rebel right now um, and he's going to show us how to make the lor, uh, sambal the lor. <laughs> right, look at all the look at all the eggs all right guys like i said make sure you say hello let us know where you're watching from hit chef ismail with any questions you have because as everyone knows here who knows chef ismail his restaurant is famous i have heard nothing but great fantastic things about his food so we're very excited to see what he has in store for us so chef you okay to just take it away i'll disappear and and i'll come back later to ask you some questions yeah Bole? thank you jack <laughs> okay cool i will go away bye okay hello everybody from kuala lumpur malaysia i'm in my kitchen restaurant robong chef smile okay hari ni kita nak masak sambal telur okay memang kalau kita dengar sambal telur dia kata ala apalah chef mak ini nak buat sambal telur but my sambal telur is special. So for those who want to learn how to make this sambal telur, you have to stick around with me because this is going to uh, help you to solve your problem uh, at home if you are hungry. Okay? All right, come. Chef, Chef can, you, can you ask your cameraman to put your camera horizontal so we can okay. see a uh, bigger... Uh, can, uh, can you turn off auto rotate so so that it's uh, hang on let me just remove okay, okay. 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 it's okay it's okay da, da, da. yes yes it's perfect now thank you okay guys enjoy yourselves chef is is in town hi okay very simple ingredient as you know that sambal is uh it's always conceived of chili Baba, <laughs> chili. Uh, see, I have chili. Uh, I don't use garlic in my. Okay, Chef, we can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Chef, you will let us say it. We can't hear you again. Okay. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, eh? Yes, okay. good now. All right, oh, okay. so what I need is I'm going to use this blender. Yeah. Masukkan dry chili. Yeah, this is dried chili. I already, I already grind the paste. Black chan. Shrimp paste, optional. If you don't have shrimp paste, it's okay. Uh, onion, but this onion, I have to add more. Two liters, You must put lots of onion, then it tastes better. It's a bit more onion. Okay. All right. Then, uh, that's all. So, we're going to grind it. I add uh, some Jawa citrate. So, no, your your good. audio is a little bit crackly. I don't know whether um, your camera person is. Can you um, see if you're holding the phone without blocking the microphone? Because it's like what's up? Like you hear a little bit. <laughs>
Okay, let's see how we go. It's still a little bit crackly. Oh, might be the internet. I grind dried chili, dried chili, big onion, belacan, yeah, and that's all. I don't use garlic in my sambal kumis, okay? These are the basic uh, sambal paste, which is chili, bawang, belacan. Jackie from Asam Melbourne. Jawa. Jackie from Melbourne. Hi, Jackie. Itu. This one, uh, Sheila from Frankfurt. Tadi, Jackie from Melbourne. Oh, the one the orang akan baca. Jack, Jack, Okay, come here. Panaskan minyak, heat up your poly, yeah, with the cooking oil. All right, then you fry off your chili sambal to make ingredients. Put it down. Put it down. Okay. Oil is sufficient. The oil when you make sambal tumis, you must have enough oil. Otherwise, the paste are not fried properly. It doesn't taste good. Okay. If you think that it's too much oil at the end of the day, you can always scoop the oil out and throw it away. But when you fry the sambal, you make sure the 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 oil. Ah, bukan semua orang boleh buat sambal tumis tau. Not everybody can make sambal tumis. Yeah. So very important is the chili, the onion, the belacan, and the asam jawa, and also the oil are sufficient to fry off the sambal paste. Okay. So these are in my kitchen now. This kitchen can produce 10,000 food at, at one time. Okay. They have different, different departments. Okay, now show them this one too. Yeah, mommy, what you did? What you did? This is pasting of boya. Ah, you see, this is one of our hero product here. Gulai pasting with tempoya. Tempoya is the fermented durian produce you guys know. This is very popular in our restaurant, Jabo. And this is our pari, asam pedas pari, stingray, pari stingray. See? Ah, nice, ah. Huh? So make sure you really, really go in the pot. Sambal tumis. Mesti masak betul-betul. Okay. So, I'm going to use a handful of uh, anchovies also. Yeah, saya so gunakan some, uh, ikan bilis also in dalam sambal telur saya. Okay.
Okay, this is a very important part, yeah. When you fry the the sambal, it's very important in this cooking. The sambal mesti to make sampai naik wangi, pecah minyak, semua very important. You see? Okay. Now, you masukkan bilis, but you don't fry the ikan bilis, okay? Ikan bilis jangan goreng. Chef, yeah. can you hear me? Lisa tanya, api kena besar kalau api kecil boleh? Api besar kalau api kecil je? Tak, kalau dekat. Kalau chef masak api besar lah. Kalau kalau masih dekat rumah, you can medium. So medium, you know, but when you start frying the the sambal, you got to be with high flame. Ah. Control lah saya lah. Hmm. Uh, and also, chef, uh, why jangan goreng ikan bilis? Oh, dia, you, kalau you goreng ikan bilis, you akan matikan rasa the bilis because it's sealed with hot oil. Ah, interesting. Ah. Yeah, Dali, my grandmother never <laughs> fried ikan bilis. Okay. <laughs> that's, why, that's why sometimes they goreng ikan bilis, tak sedap because ikan bilis tu dah kena hot oil, jadi it cannot derive the taste of the anchovies into your sambal. You know what I mean? Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, ada orang tanya, ya? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Chef, ada orang tanya macam mana nak tahu sambal pecah minyak macam mana? Ah, dia punya texture tu like sandy texture. Sandy texture. Okay. Yeah. They're really <laughs> looking like a sandy texture. They are macam... Okay. They're a bit rough lah. They're nampak pasar. Dia nampak macam... Kasar. Dia dah buat kasar. Bit rough. Ha, nampak ni? Hmm. This one. You see? Nampak tak, Jackie? Oh, wow. Well. Alright. Okay, Chef, tapi ni kambilis kena cuci dulu kan? Ni yeah. kambilis you must rinse lah. <laughs> you must rinse the ikan belis. Okay. Sampai air dia putih sikit lah, Jackie. Okay. Ada cool. sometimes ah, uh, you the more you watch the run the taste. Okay. Ah, uh, bambang. Pagi saya santan sikit. Santan. Okay. Little bit of coconut cream, optional ya, yeah, Jackie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, okay, Sheila now. said, I remember my late mum pun tak goreng kambilis. Uh, Chef, uh, Lin, Lin Arifin said, I don't use salt in my cooking. What can I replace it with? I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, Lin kata dia tak pakai garam. Kalau tak pakai garam, pakai apa boleh? You must use garam, otherwise how? <laughs> she said she doesn't use garam. <laughs> Either you want to cook or you don't cook. That's it. Forget about healthy. Oh, there you That's go. Bit of salt <laughs> for the taste. Okay, this is our coconut cream. Oh my cow. Just a little bit. Oh wow. Nice. Bam bam. 
How long size ka dyan? Bakit na nalapit ah? So you must Adang add Adang the... Adang. Okay. Adang tanya, Oran, baso Oran, na Oran, mas thin ka siya. Orang ni Chris Milan masak, mesti ada santan je. Yeah, no, I know. I like santan. Yeah. <laughs> Because the santan is to replace the cream in, in European cooking, you know. Yeah. You have to replace so that it keeps the food moist and nicer. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Lisa said, kalau, kalau tak pakai garam, then jangan cuci ikan bilis, so the masin stays. That's true. Uh, who's, who's asking, uh, kalau tak nak garam, taruh apa? Uh, Lit, every bit from, uh, from um, Aussie Malaysian TV. Oh, no, sometimes so, ikan bilis kan. So, you masuk garam, it's okay. Control. But nowadays, you know, nowadays can get so many garam in the market, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a preference what sort? I use the different sort, the better, because it tastes good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Okay, yeah, yeah, now you're good. Yeah, that's the happy time. Hey, I want to show you the product now. It's very nice, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Lisa kata buat nasi goreng lah. Ah, dia uh, sambal, you, you okay, how it started this, this recipe is, those days we have so many anak at home. So with this, we can feed the whole, the whole house yeah, with this. And then the balance of it, you add nasi, it becomes nasi goreng kampung. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, I'll show you how eh? I'll show you how nasi goreng kampung is done, okay? Okay, right, yeah, yeah, let's cool. take this up. You hold on, let's take this up. Uh, Okay, tadi ada orang tanya ada letak belacan tak chef ada. Dia ada pakai belacan, belacan um, onion, apa ni yang lagi uh, lagi apa? Belacan bawang, cili uh, bawang belacan ni ya. Okay, so cili bawang belacan, that's it. And Chong Si Ming says good afternoon from KL. Hey, good afternoon, how are you? Who has tried this before? Salt substitute organic mushroom seasoning. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, this is the, the finished product. And I'm going to add rice, it becomes nasi goreng. Wow. That looks like a very big plate. Lynn says, I am late. Oh, Lynn, you missed out. Have you ever heard of like sambal telur pecah? I got this sambal eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now the balance of it, I put little bit, you can nasi goreng. You see, can you see nasi goreng nice. kampo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. That's a good idea. Huh? Uh, Lisa tanya how much belacan? And belacan kena sambal ke tak? Depend on your budget lah. European people just put one teaspoon lah. That's true. And uh, blackjack because some people they don't put blackjack, you know, darling, because they only keep the blackjack, so no need to put blackjack, no so boleh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackjack is optional, babe. Cool. Oh, but it makes a, makes a difference, I think. I noticed the blackjack you used was very pale in color, though. Is that a different type or? What do you mean? The blacan that you used before, it was like almost pink in color. It's, it's like not as dark as the one that I used. Yeah, because that blacan that my supplier has supplied to me uh, almost 17 years with me. It's from Kuala Perlis. Kuala Perlis. Okay, there you go. That's another another contender for best blacan, Kuala Perlis. Chef <laughs> Bob. Wow. Very cool. Do you sell that at the restaurant, Chef? See, nasi goreng telur pecah. You see? That's very fast. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, wait. Wow, Jack, so fun now because I have to hold the exhaust. <laughs> Masna says hello. She's late but looks good. Lapar already. <laughs> Lisa Kata, Chef, I need photo. Please make sure you keep on taking photo both nasi goreng and the sambal photo separately, please. Done. Okay, thank you, Bang. And he says hello, Jackie and Dato. We'll have to replay later. Yay! Uh, my hometown, Perlis. We have you have to tell us what else is famous in Perlis. Aduh. Jack, hold on. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished the cooking now. We can talk about it. Kesian tadi in the dapur so noisy lah, babe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, I'll, I'll ask the question, guys. If you got any questions about this dish, yeah, post them now. The chef is going to sit down and answer the question. Yeah. Sayang dekat sini cepat. I'm on. I'm live now with Australia. <laughs> Yay! Hello, right. hey, everybody. Thank you. You pula. <laughs> These are the young doctors. They are taking masters in orthopedic. Oh, nice! Hey, how you doing, everyone? Hi, hi, thank you. Thank you. Come, from Australia. Apa semua? This is Jack from Australia. This is a master of chef Malaysia. We are doing live now. <laughs> Some of you there. Don't be cheeky. She's still single, huh? <laughs> All right, smile. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks all. Thank you. all the best. All the best. Come back, yeah. I do hijack. All right, now. Okay, a bit finished product. Bye, dog. Bye. Oh my God, it's like that, lah. Jackie. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, let's talk about the sambal, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Okay, so any questions, so hit now. us up now, okay? Okay, okay. So someone was asking the, the, the belacan, you can sanggar dulu ke tak? Uh, it depends, up to you. you. Whether you want to sanggar or you tak sanggar pun tak apa. It's okay. Mine is anything goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, but, um, but to be honest with you, darling, I always like to cook the belacan when it's raw, you know, Jack? Because yeah, once yeah. you sangai, when you sangai, it seals the taste of the shrimp, you know? <laughs> See, guys, you don't have to follow what the cookbooks tell you all the time, you know? Yeah. Because they always tell because, you to uh, because, that, right? Yeah, because it seals the taste. After all, you're going to cook the belacan or so what? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But then, I've never had that. And then one of my, there's one lady from Kedah already passed away. She taught me how to make asam. You know the asam sauce? You makan dengan ikan bakar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jet, she never, she never grill her blachan, you know. It's raw. Really? She, squeeze, really? she squeeze it with asam jawa. Huh? Yeah. She squeeze it with asam jawa. Right. And also, uh, okay, Jack, it's like that. Okay, Jack, this is my nasi goreng. Can you see? I cannot show. Oh, uh, tak, Jack? Jangan lupa ambil gambar, Chef, ya? Yeah? Uh, dia, Ferdas, angkat gambar. Very okay, nice. This is the sambal like the sambal like the this is that sambal is such a bad sambal. Wow. I'm going to have to try it. Everyone, you have to try this and post it on social media so we can see. Tag us, okay? Tag MOMC so we can see it. Okay, ada orang tanya, apa beza belacan Kuala Perulis dengan belacan negeri lain, Datuk? Tak ada beza. They are all depend on the ingredient they use. How much shrimp they use. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. The gragau, the baby shrimp they use. If more, because belacan are, are made from uh, gragau, you know, baby shrimp and uh, sea salt. That's all. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've never they, seen they, 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 they pound the gragau, the baby shrimp, and with yeah. sea salt, they pound, 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 pound. The party, they shape it into whatever shape they want, and they have to shine it on the beach. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> Lisa yeah. reminding you picture, yeah? Um, and uh, Mazna says, I love Belacan Sarawak, no need to roast. Have you tried that? Uh, th because uh, Belacan Brunei, Sarawak, all these, they use lots of shrimp. Okay, interesting. Uh, Did not know that. Okay. Uh, oh, you see my so, lips here? So voluptuous. Uh. I'm going to eat that. <laughs> 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 Someone say, Chef, uh, ah. <laughs> ada orang kata, Chef, saya nak hantar sambal kecam untuk Datuk rasa. 
Ya Allah boleh hantarlah sambal kejam ni must be very spicy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, Sayang, Jack, now I have my new uh, ready to eat lah, Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to see that. Uh, this is, eh, sorry ah. Uh, this is tam, sambal tempoyak. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, can you see? And this is sambal udang kering. Yum. How much do you sell them for? Okay, sambal udang kering is 37.70. Wow, nice. Well, sambal bilis. This is sambal bilis. Uh, this sambal bilis is 15 ringgit. Right. And this is my acha buah. Okay, cool, cool. So they are yeah. already in they are already in Shopee's. You can buy from Shopee's. Okay, guys, so look look up on uh Shopee to shop for Chef Ismail's special range. Uh, I wish I were in Malaysia this time. Yes, Kathy, saya. And then uh, we can you can also buy from Food Panda. Food Panda. Oh, I don't know that Food Panda. Food Panda uh, is that, yeah, uh, uh, another food carrier. Okay, Food Food Panda. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they boleh hantar lah. Can Can they send? How How far away can they send it? Can Can you send it to well, someone or anything like that? I don't know, but Malaysia they still can send within seven days, but I don't know abroad. Okay. You okay. See? Hey, sorry, eh, I makan, eh, sorry. <laughs> Jangan lupa megang bahas, eh. Ah, uh, tadi uh, Victoria tanya cili kering ke cili segar. Ma, you must you try chili, but if you don't have it, you can always use your fresh fresh red chili. No problems. Okay. Because I understand some people they don't have okay. it. In Your abroad. audio is just yeah, just gonna be quiet again. Okay. Can okay. Now it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's better. I think you were covering the microphone, maybe. So better to use dried chili, but you can use fresh too if you don't have it. Ah, is that you, right? If you, if you clever enough to use chili powder, also paprika powder, you still can. But if you use okay. paprika powder, you must always add in the uh, bird eye chili to give the spiciness. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And are you um, so sedap the nasi goreng? How la, like that? I bet. I bet. And and then, uh, uh, and then this one, Jack. Yeah. This telur pecah. You can also uh -huh. uh, buat nasi goreng ataupun you can uh, put uh, you can put it on the toast and top it with oh. cheese and gratiné and you can have uh, sambal telur pecah toast with cheese. That's a good idea. I might make that in Very one of my episodes. <laughs> yeah. Zai, I know that sambal telur pecah with bread would be delicious too. I See, know, that's because exactly you know why the Zai Mayon is my cousin. She come from the place called uh -huh. Mayonis. <laughs> and she look at the lecker, lecker. Yeah, Zai lecker. <laughs> ah, I mean lecker, lecker. Because honestly, <laughs> darling, this is the cheapest food ever. And it yeah. tastes so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. The, the, you talked about the sugar. Like how much sugar? Because you showed like the the sugar and salt together. Can like okay. how much sugar? The, the sugar I just put uh uh, uh one uh, one tablespoon. If you don't like sugar, you can always uh don't have to add. Okay. But okay. So it's me, more savory than sweet. Yeah. To me, when you make sambal black sambal uh, uh, just a little bit sugar to caramelize the 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 what the sambal you know okay sure sure cool yeah Can I look look yeah nice oh yeah we're so jealous Nes we're all this is, to... this is Nescafe Tari really oh nice <laughs> uh and uh Victoria says Acha Bois Chef is the best. There you go, guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I uh, okay. big, remember I used to do it at the uh, the Malaysian Embassy's ha ambassador's house uh, for for tea. So Jack came and also tasted the Acha Bois. Ah. Yes. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, very cool. And uh, who else? Uh, Sebastian says, I'm going to make taco and burrito with it. There you go. See, everyone's going to attempt that recipe. Chef. Yeah, because it's why, Jack? It can be laced. I know sometimes it's difficult to get anchovies abroad. So you don't have to add yeah. any anchovies. Yeah. Don't worry. Just egg and sambal. It 
taste out of this world. Okay, cool. Yeah, because Lisa was saying, yeah, ikan bilis expensive last year. Ah, you don't have to put ikan bilis. You can just add in ikan bilis cube if you if you have the cube. No okay. problem. Very and cool. then if you don't have, if you want to go real original, you just have to use chili, bawang, and uh, uh, telur, and minyak masak, and asam jawa. That's all. If let's say you don't have tamarind, yeah, sometimes difficult to get tamarind, yeah. you can always squeeze uh, any citrus fruit if you have. So you put tamarind in it before? I didn't see it. Okay. No, I, I remember I add in during the blending. Oh, okay, okay. I add in okay. tamarind, asam jawa inside. Okay. okay. And, uh, Nazrin says, Salam from Kampung La, UK town, South Africa. How are you, Jackie? I am good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. And uh, Ling says, add sugar so sambal is not so spicy. That is true too. No. Uh, correction, yeah. If you if your food becomes so spicy, it's not the sugar who kills the spiciness. It's the tamarind. The tamarind. Okay, you cool. More, you, add, you add more sourness to kill the spicy, not sugar. Okay. Sugar. I I, I, add... I I like sugar actually. When I make sambal, my sambal tends to be more on the sweet side. Yeah, and this is perfecto. Uh, the nasi goreng, uh, I tell you. I, and then sometimes, darling, not only nasi goreng, you can fry with wamasali. Bihon goreng can also can. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Good idea. Yes. Yeah, bihon goreng, I call it bihon goreng bodoh. <laughs> Everything bihon bodoh. bodoh. Hey, I tell you, it's so delicious, especially when after you fry the... Oh my god, I'm not sure you darling. Wait, I don't know how to play with this camera. Lah. Nampak tak, Jack? Eh, mana, mana sambal tu? Can you see, darling? Mana? Ah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's such a big plate. Yeah. I can't believe how much you managed to cook out of it. Yes. You see, because, Jack, uh, let me tell you something, Jack. You can bottle this up and you can always put it at room temperature. No problem. They won't get spoiled. Oh yeah, sure. sure. Uh, you jangan you jangan chill them up because uh, I mean you know they already have uh, they if, if you cook the chili properly it can last you months but of course you handle it properly lah you must have clean uh, spoon to take it out but nobody keep it for one month lah if you want to go away <laughs> of course you have to store them in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. every time Lisa. you're hungry, yeah. Yeah. What yeah, Lisa saying sometimes sometimes tamarind is difficult to judge the sourness. So can can you replace it with lime or not? I just told Lisa you don't hear me. Huh? I said you don't have tamarind. You use citrus fruit. <laughs> Are you Lisa? Fruit. You don't pay attention to teachers, huh? You know, I heard someone use uh, tomato ketchup instead of tamarind. What do you think? No, I hate that. <laughs> cannot, okay. no. But boleh je, cool. cannot. You spoil the sambal. Okay, cool, cool. Good idea. Right, there you go. Any right. other questions, I, guys? Okay, darling. I have I have done this as a pizza topping. So, dub, Jack. I have what, sorry? I did it with, for pizza topping. Seriously? Yes, I did it for pizza topping. And I put mozzarella cheese. Ayo, you can see Malaysia very well. Okay. So, guys, all these different ideas, I want to see you guys attempt this and post on social media all your different, like, ways to use sambal telur pecah, yeah? And uh, Lisa says, sorry, Cek Gubasar. <laughs> you am. Um Broken egg sambal. Broken egg sambal. If you translate it, translate yeah. it. Broken egg sambal. Yeah, I know, right? I'm trying to think of a good way to translate it. Um, scrambled egg sambal. There you go. Scrambled egg sambal. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. And uh, Victoria, egg egg can you use vinegar instead of tamarind? 
Oh, uh, I suppose you can, but actually, darling, honestly, yeah, Jack, huh? My grandmother, most of her sambal, she don't put tamarind, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessary. It's not necessary because especially when we are from Rambau, tamarind is, is something you have to buy with money because we don't plant them like in the East Coast or in yeah. the Northern. Northern people, they do their own tamarind, you know. They buy the tamarind uh, fruits and then they, they, they skin it off and they steam it, you know. Really? I did not know that. That's how they yeah. make tamarind, darling. Okay, cool, cool. You know, uh, Lisa food. says she's going to make it makan dengan roti canai. Oh, Lisa! You're so clever. So sedap. <laughs> because, because this sambal telur pecah, the upper scrambled egg sambal, you, it is like a mother's sauce. It's like a mother's sauce That's where true, you right? write out to, to make other things like fried rice, fried vermicelli, pizza topping, and then you can do it with uh, 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 burut, uh, what? burutos, uh, what? baratos, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, can, you can do it so many things. It's like a basic uh, mother sauce, you know? Yeah, yeah, you can use it as a motorbike filling. Okay, no problem. Mm. <laughs> Roti John. <laughs> and then you can make a, if you're really hungry, you can just boil your 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 instant noodle. Yeah. I have done it for Halim, my son. I've done it, you know, I, I boil the pasta, you know, pasta, the spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You boil it and then you drain the, the eye very nicely. Then you you just heat up in microwave, whatever. Then you toss it. It becomes spaghetti uh, sambal telur. Okay. Oh, there you go. Spaghetti sambal telur. <laughs> oh, <laughs> burrito. Burrito. That's what burrito. you're trying to say. Burrito. Yeah, everybody's commenting. And porridge, Lisa says. Porridge. Sambal porridge. telur. Porridge. Yeah, that's true, right? Yeah, like, yeah. You can do porridge also. No problem. Yeah. But I, I don't know. But... This one, uh, Jack, not so spicy lah. Because if it's too spicy, I don't enjoy my food. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah if it's I think too it... spicy, yeah. I don't yeah. enjoy my nasi goreng. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chef, you, you don't, so you don't sell the sambal in your restaurant, yeah? Mm -mm, mm -mm. But... Mm -mm. But sometimes is it uh, my my cook we cook it as a side dish just put it there for people to top up oh, okay. it, yeah, like a side dish. Oh, nice. But a lot of people sometimes they just order a side they want to do a la carte they say I want like five hundred gram or one kilo of sambal telur pecah. Oh nice okay cool cool. Yeah. Oh, everybody learned a new recipe tonight I think that's very cool. I'm definitely <laughs> going to try it. Seriously, yes, chef. Went, went, yeah. When when Lisa asked me, Chef, what are you making? I said, I'm making sambal telur. And then I said, wow, sounds so easy. Everybody so can make sambal telur, can't Jack? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I said, this is a surprise. Uh, I won't tell you what sambal telur is going to be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. The, uh, you know why? Because you got ikan bilis. Uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, MAFI, is yeah. promoting ikan bilis in... Australia, so I'm going to make it. And ah, actually, yes. I'm going to share it. Oh, yes. darling, if you make this, you can, mm -mm. you can use wrap to wrap it. You can use uh, uh, pizza. If I were you, I do pizza. Uh, let the Australian people eat the, your sambal, yeah. scrambled egg sambal bilis with pizza, scrambled egg bilis, yeah? Sure, sure. I might, I might do it for a cooking demo for the media. Uh, the long kata lama tak makan di sana. So you should go and visit Rebong. Rebong is open for business, right? Yes, darling, yes. Uh, 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 apa lagi tu? Zah kata apa dah? Sudah lupa. Eh, hey, Jack, uh, have you tried yeah. making sambal bilis? Uh, not sambal bilis. Ikan goreng, uh, uh, ikan uh, bilis goreng with sugar and and uh, soya. Pina. Oh, the no. one that uh, that uh, Tuanku made. Much no, no, no. Like... This, is, this is rather dry a little bit, darling, like a tidbits. 
Oh, I, I've made uh, yeah with sugar and like apa ni? Uh, with peanuts, like macam I, sambal with sugar and no, peanuts. No, no, this is uh, yeah, this like, is like a snack. No, this is only when you goreng the bilis, and then when the bilis crispy, you throw in sugar, uh, a good amount of sugars, and then you top up with little bit of uh, 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 this uh, uh, light soya sauce. Okay, I'll try that with dark soy sauce. Dark soy, kicap manis ke kicap pekat? Kicap manis. Uh, jadikan it, bilis you tu macam caramelized tau, darling. Sedap. Okay, okay. I'll try that. Cool. Yeah, 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 good idea. Yeah, it's crunchy and those people, I mean, uh, I'm, not promote, I'm not promoting beer here, but for those who drinking, <laughs> they, 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 they makan ini bagus lah. Minum sama dia punya orang punya minum. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I have people ask me that before. Expatriate who came back to Australia. They said when they were in Malaysia, when they went to a pub, it's a good beer snack, you know, the ikan bilis. Like, mm, how do you do yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, even the German. Even the German. Even the German. BFF chef. Okay, cool. Oh, I did OG BFF. OG, okay. Cool. Oh, Faiz, Faiz, OG, OG, the... My friend, the lawyer, brother. Okay, okay, cool. And someone said roti jala. Roti jala with this? Okay, yeah, I guess. And Za said she thought you were going to make sambal telo chilepo. What's chilepo? I don't know. I don't know what is chilepo. Za, is it Zai? It, no, la. no, I don't know. Zai yeah. must be from, uh, yes, my mom made that. Ah, Sebastian. Yeah. With the ikan, the crispy ikan, the ikan bilis, I think. Yeah. yeah. Hey, ask Sebastian, give a proper recipe, please, Jack. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian, that's your job. <laughs> yeah, because because I remember one of my uh, my uncle uh, adopted daughter Chinese from Kuantan, Mailan, uh, Cheche Mailan. Cheche Mailan teach, let me try this when I was 11, 12 years old, but I couldn't find her now. You can make it easy, uh, Chef. No, I Sebastian. He said, Mom used to do <laughs> Mother used to <laughs> There you go, Sebastian. That's your job. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, we're going to look out for Sebastian's recipe. <laughs> right, uh, it can be less caramelized. It can be less, huh? So yeah. Dark. <laughs> cool. So anyone who wants this recipe, guys, make sure you sign up malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And Chef Ismail, um, another amazing recipe. And guys, like I said, today is the first in our series, uh, Munching March, or a lot of recipes around eggs and a lot of recipes around seafood this month. So keep your eyes out for all our sessions. And Adam Kata, you have it with roti, roti kala, roti kala, kaya, or by wrapping the sambal with roti jala. Or, you have it with roti jala by wrapping the sambal with roti jala like kueh kataya, sada. Okay, there you go. Uh, Good idea. Yeah, you can do it, no problem. Uh, I tell you honestly, uh, Jack, without the bilis also, it tastes better also. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. it also tastes better uh, because, uh, of course, now the Petanian promoting the bilis. So, I add in the bilis yeah. law. Ah, oh, right. See, it's a method uh, in this madness. Uh, yeah. Lisa, Lisa kata, celepok tu masuk telur jadi mata lembu. Oh, also can. You can make the uh, mata lembu, uh, mata, sunny side eggs lah. Lisa, what celepok? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Singaporean in her. <laughs> but on this, uh, honestly, darling, this uh, telu, uh, samba telur pecah originate. I would, I would dare to say, originated from Rambau Negeri Sembilan. You know. Oh, is that right? Cool. Because I have yeah, never seen yeah, because I'm, I'm Negeri Sembilan, but not Rambau. <laughs> yeah, and and those with the days, you know, a lot of people, people, the villagers are not that rich. So if they have a balance of samba tumis, you know, samba tumis bilis. They yeah. have a balance of it, so they want to add very, more volume. They just crack it inside. Uh huh, uh huh. That's a good idea. So, that, so, so you get more, more telur lah, more lauk lah. And anak, yeah. it is very ramai. No family planning, you know. <laughs> uh, Abdul Salam Ismail said, "Thank you, Chef Ismail and Jackie, for this recipe. Yummy! You are so welcome. Thank you for tuning in." 
Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Sambat telur pecah. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much, Chef. Yeah. All right, guys, I forgot to play a Tourism Malaysia reel, but we shall do that right now. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Like I said, all throughout March, we uh, on Wednesday and Friday, we are streaming live with our MOMC at Heart Chefs and sometimes our MOMC chefs as well. And every Monday, we are doing uh, MOMC TV with our MOMC chef. So we're so excited to share all that with you. Chef, jangan lupa ambil gambar, ya. Minta ambil gambar for the uh, the sambal and for the nasi goreng, ya. Sure, darling. Sure, no problem. Thank you, Jack. Love you. Thank you. Love, Love you, you. Thank you so much. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>